But yes, people, there's things out there in this world that people don't mind messing with. And they've been doing it so long that it's like their religion. And they don't see no problems in it. And one thing about most of these sorcerers and these witches and these people that bring upon evil upon others, they work in groups. Just like God tells us, the prayer, when two are joined together in my name, is power there. To pray. Good things. So for them, on the dark side, it's power and groups and organizing. Witches and sorcerers and warlocks and voodoo priestesses, they consult with each other, with one another. They know one another. They know who they are. They know other witches. They got codes, different signs and stuff. But the thing is, God is telling you, there are people out there that mean you home. There's a devil out there that means you home. There are people that work for that devil that means you home. And he gonna come and promiscuating himself as a child of light. Don't tell how many witches you may know that are witches and talk to and communicate with all the time. Nobody likes to talk about this. But ever since I was young, I had a fascinated with fascination with this type of stuff. Not the part I wanted to do it, but it was like, wow, people do stuff like that. Ghosts, goblins, vampires, werewolves. I think about stuff like that. But I'm going to tell you something, people. A lot of people don't realize this. When you're spiritual, you are designed to believe everything. Do you know that? From a spiritual perspective. You know God is the creator of all. So if something is out there, I know one thing. God created it. Why would God make such evil beings? He didn't make them. They made themselves when they rebel against God. Now think about necromancy and bringing, trying to seek souls from the dead. What if these people were resting and they were designed? God already allotted them, but God knows that this person is already dead. Is going to hell and it's an evil person. Evil, evil, evil. And this necromancy or this seance brings back this evil entity. This person that was vexed with an evil spirit before he died. Then you just bring it right back. You know why the world is so evil and so corrupt? Because people are doing these things. And they're doing them in high places. Bohemian Grove, anyone? The Skulls, anyone? Freemasonry, anyone? All these ritualistic groups. They do all types of things. And they hide. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Don't tell you how many of them get together and perform seances and rituals and sacrifice babies and it's there. Nobody wants to believe it. Because most people want to be in them organizations. They want to sell their soul for rock and roll. They want to take the devil's offer and live good in this world. And the thing is, it ain't got to be that big people to sell their birthright for a morsel of bread, Esau. People have done all types of things just to get back on track. Be careful out there, people. If it involves anything other than what Scripture says a child of God is supposed to be doing, don't do it. Did you hear what I said? If it doesn't line up with Scripture, don't do it. 
If it haven't been told to you through scripture, don't do it. If somebody come to your house and try to tell you, hey man, I got this weight of doing it, don't do it. Can I give you another story before I end today? A few years ago, because my wife was like, hey, why you always talk about witchcraft and sorcery and demons and stuff like that? Because I'm compelled to do it. And I'm going to do it with boldness too. Just like Paul said. But anyway, shortly after, one of her friends come to her. And I was over somebody's house and they had a book with spells in it. And we opened the book up and we did all these spells in it. And then something happened. And Oh, I'm full of crap. No, I'm not. Yes. Most time when God tells you to tell somebody something, there's a reason behind it. So my wife had an eye-opening moment like, whoa. Houston, by the grace of God, told me about this stuff. And here it is. A few nights later, somebody, somebody's after me. We done did something. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's real. Oh, oh, I don't believe in this stuff. Oh, it's real, though. I don't believe in this stuff. But it's real. I don't believe in this stuff. But it's real. You better believe it. Because the devil believes in you. And his children believe in you too. You better believe in them. How are you going to fight against something you don't believe in? Oh, you just want the material blessing. I believe that God can bless me with material things, but I don't believe the devil can do nothing. Well, you just open yourself up for the devil. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. Not believing in the devil doesn't mean he doesn't attack you. He might I already got you in the palm of his hands. Doing his will. But you're so blind to the spiritual realm that you won't realize it. Probably go to church every Sunday. <laughs> Still can't get it right. Still ain't figured it out. First of all, Sunday the worship day. But anyway, it's not the Sabbath. It's just not the Sabbath. I only want to go there today. The truth. God is the father of the truth. Even what I just said, changing the Sabbath day to Sunday was a work of the devil. Because nobody can change the Bible. Nobody can destitute. Hey, well, I'm a, since I'm, I'm God on earth, says the Pope, since I'm God on earth, I'm going to make the Sabbath day Sunday. Because it lines up with the sun god worship and pagan practice. Anyway, we fight against spiritual wickedness in high places. You better wake up. Oh, you sound like a fool. <laughs> God has chosen the spiritual things in this world for the spiritual. A fool wouldn't understand anything. Who's the real fool? Wisdom in this world is nothing compared to spiritual knowledge. The wisdom of this world won't profit you nothing. Do you know that? Won't do nothing for you in the 